Hey, hi, in this video, I will show you how to import CSV data from Amazon S3 bucket into Amazon DynamoDB table uh, with using native capability of Amazon DynamoDB that is to import the data. So here we will have an Amazon S3 bucket where we have, have a CSV data store. And then the other side, we're gonna create Amazon DynamoDB table where we want to import the data that is present in the Amazon S3 bucket. Now we use the Amazon DynamoDB uh, capability that is import data from S3 bucket and, uh, and you know, uh, store it in the Amazon DynamoDB, uh, you know, a table. Now I'm in Amazon uh, account. So this is my AWS account and currently I'm in DynamoDB service page of my region, Oregon. Uh, in this one, I have created uh, a table called um, demo table if you see here and uh, it has the uh, you know the, it has the primary key as UI ID because so this is the sample CSV data which I have stored in um, in Amazon S3 bucket which I would like to show you like how did I uh, you know kept this data in the, in the Amazon S3 bucket now I, in this data if you see here so the first column is is actually the header of the CSV and uh, down the line whatever you see each um, you know row record is basically each row is is basically a record in this particular CSV uh, file we're going to import these data into the Amazon DynamoDB uh, as a part of the demo right so this is very huge data so uh, basically you know that's where uh, import option comes very handy if you remember right so let me go to the my Amazon um, DynamoDB table so this is a DynamoDB table and if you see here in the left hand side there are a lot of capabilities like it includes explore items that is nothing but whatever the you know the data that you have stored in the DynamoDB table that's where you can do it uh, party QL right backup so export so you can do the reverse of import that is export as well so here is the import option which we are trying to do right away and uh, before I start this activity let me take you to the my storage bucket so this is my s3 bucket so in this one i have a bucket name called uh, if you see here so this is the data bucket source site so in this one i have kept the uh, csc file that is sample csc file uh, it's of size 105 kb right and then uh, if i go to the properties so this is what uh, you know this is what the my table looks like basically now i will tell you so let's go to the this is our source now let's go to the destination that is uh, DynamoDB site. So to import it, click on this import button and then go to the, you know, from S3 button option here and then uh, choose the your S3 bucket. So here is uh, our S3 bucket. If you see here, data bucket uh, source site. So we're going to choose that and then, you know, then forward slash, then, you know, backward that is S3 bucket owner. So this is the bucket is present in my, in the same account where my um, DynamoDB table is, is there. So if you have the S3 bucket in some other account, and then the DynamoDB table in the in the you know another account so you can use the second options for now we go to the next option that is um, import file from the compression it is not an import you know compression uh, file but if you have a zip or s you know gstd kind of zipping so you can use these options uh, so down the line import file format that is csc file and as i said you know in the csc use the first line of the source uh, you know as the header right so that's what you can do it and uh, all are comma separated delimiter right that is what we're going to keep it uh, here um, so since the my csv file is immediately after the s3 bucket and the sense it's basically sitting underneath the root uh, directory of the my s3 bucket so that's the reason you can give it like this and then we go to the next one that is the table name so our table name is uh, yeah let me open the uh, table names that is uh, um, so let me go to the dynamodb uh, table in the another page so that I get the uh, you know so that I get the uh, name of the my table as well so I will do like quickly uh, so here let me close this off uh, let me go to the another table another tab here so I forgot the table name um, yeah so that's the reason I'm going back again and trying to copy the table so if I go here so let's use the demo table option here let me copy this and try to go back to the uh, table name so this is our table name we are keeping it here um, right so this is our table name partition key so let me con do a control z looks like i have not copied properly so i'm going to copy the table name so this is my table name so enter your table name here partition key is nothing but you know you need to give that primary key so in this data uh, in the csc file you need to determine a file in the sense a column which is basically a kind of a unique right so here uuid i'm considering as of now unique let's see you know if there are any duplicate it will throw the error by the way so any 
unique column in your CSC file can be considered as a partition key. Again, sort key can be, you know, can be a secondary key. For now, I'm just keeping it default. Uh, then, you know, so if you see here, so it says that default settings, customize the settings. We go with the default settings, but again, right, you can also uh, explore the customize the settings, right, which, which gives you some extra uh, you know, capability that you can customize it for your import. Uh, for now, let me go with the default settings because this is just a demo of import. So we go to the next one that is uh, with this all, you know, here you can check what are all the configuration that you did it in a, in the in the import activity this is basically review the import and then click on a import if you see here there is a something like uh, you know it sees that uh, table already exists so why it is uh, throwing the error because uh, you know table we have created a table manually so what i do is so this is a purely live demo so that's the reason i wanted you to you know have the experience so what i do is i'm gonna um, you know delete this table by the way uh, so i'm gonna delete it in front of you here so we're gonna delete this uh, by confirming uh, and then you know let's see after that we, i will click on a uh, uh, you know import and let's see if it if it works as expected right so let me click on import again and here you go it has started the activity if you see here so currently it is importing remember that this file has lakhs of data in the sense it has uh, uh, you know 1 lakh data uh, if i show you the columns or uh, records so basically it is importing very huge data it's an it's an example of huge data if you see here and, and uh, once the process gets completed, we should see a bucket, uh, you know, we should see the table getting created and we should see that, you know, the data getting imported. Until this job gets completed, I'm going to go on a pause and come back. Okay, so after waiting for more than two minutes, I see that import has done the job, but uh, the, the job, the import process here is, you know, it's, is failed. It's actually not a failed. If I open this particular, uh, you know, the particular process or particular import, uh, you know the process here you see that it has says an error says your import failed uh, some of the items failed validation check uh, were not imported please uh, check the cloudwatch logs first so something that you know it is basically failing and it also redirects you to go and check the uh, you know the cloudwatch log so if i click on this one it will take me to the cloudwatch log group if you see here so there are a lot of job has been happened here uh, and then if you see so there are a lot many uh, records got imported and uh, finally at the bottom of the logs if you see here right at the bottom of the logs we see some error um, the error says that uh, so if you see here the last item uh, yeah so if you see the last work item here it says expected unicode sequence with utf8 binary but encoding so basically it is telling that you know hey it is trying to identify python jp why it is happening because we have given the path that is equal to um, you know the the path is equal to that is bucket name for slash right so in the sense um, it will consider all the objects that are present in this uh, particular uh, bucket in the root folder so it does not not only has the you know just a csc file but it also has the other files that's the reason it is throwing the error but under the hood you know the import is successful so i'm going to show you that uh, import is successful for now so we're going to close this up so which you cannot you know which you need not to be worried this one because you know under the hood the csc file import has completed and it has created the table as well so if i go to the table here so earlier we deleted the table if you remember um, so here um, you know uh, our partition key was uiid and then if i open this one so the table got created and click on this one and go to the explore table items right and then uh, from there you know so you can explore the uh, you know the uh, items present underneath this particular table if i run it so it is currently retrieving me um, you know possible 250 but actually uh, it has imported all the lakhs of data so you can always check by you know downloading the results something like that yeah and if you see here the data is exactly like how it was there in the csc file it got imported as expected and if i show you in the json view so if you see here it is clearly imported uh, like we had the data in the in the source side that is in this uh, CSE format, right? So this data now you know magically got imported into the into the destination um, bucket that in the destination uh, DynamoDB table that is Amazon uh, DynamoDB table. For now, as I said, you can ignore the you know the error. And uh, one more suggestion is if you don't keep or if you create a separate uh, you know if you keep a separate folder and then keep only CSE file in underneath that folder you should not be able to see this error so why did i do like this it is basically a kind of a learning and it kind of a you know thing that we are learning by experimentation right 
So here learning is that you keep the separate folder and keep the CSC only file underneath that path. And then, um, you know, the this uh, import S3 job will import all the data that is present in your CSC file. And those CSC file has to have the unique, um, you know, the headers, right? All, and that's where, you know, the data gets imported, something like this. All right, so with that note, I have shown you the things not to be shown in this video. Finally, a kind request, please do subscribe my channel. That would really encourage me a lot. With that note, thank you. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.